Number one, Doc Rose or Frappuccino answering. You decide. Hi, I'm James and welcome to the start of this new series. When you hear a child say in their prayers or just in conversation with you, Thank you, God, for my father. Thank you, God, for my mother. Thank you for Jesus, depending on if you're in or pursuing the Christian faith or not. Thank you for my brothers. Thank you for my sisters. Thank you for my pet animals. Why does a child do that? Why have you done this, maybe even on a daily basis, for years? Waking up first thing in the morning. Could it possibly be because you have a deep appreciation for what I'm going to read to you right now out of the good book? And then I will conclude with the principle that will build upon this series time in and time out for as long as it continues. So we have to start with one. In Psalms 36 verses 7 through 9, I'm going to read these verses but conclude with verse 9. This is Psalms 36 verses 7 through 9. Let's begin. How precious your loyal love is, O oh God! In the shadow of your wings, the sons of men take refuge. They drink their fill of the rich bounty of your house, and you cause them to drink of the torrent of your delights. Verse 9, With you is the source of life. By your light, we can see light. Those quotes from the verses actually come from the New World Translation of the Holy Writings or Holy Scriptures. So why do you thank God first thing in the morning and then thank everything in the order of life, you see, all the way down to yourself. Because in verse 9, it states clearly that God, the true one, whose name some people may call Jah, some people may just say the ultimate one, the true one, the grand creator, which some of those are his titles. Yes, all the way to Yahweh. And then, yes, Jehovah as a name himself, a personal name. All of this shows that you are respecting the principle that is mentioned here, the fact, the truth, the universal fact, which is also a principle that will be built upon, is that the true God is the source of life. And so, with the light that it expounds upon here, it is saying that the source of life, which is the true God, Jehovah, is also the one that provides the light to understand the knowledge about himself and about everything else, including, yes, the principles that we walk by to please him and to be able to enjoy the bountifulness of this earth and as some of us know, the future of the universe as well. Thank you for being here on this Doc Rose or Frappuccino knowledge moment. This was number one. And remember, the principle to keep in mind on how you decide many things as we will expound upon them is that God is not only the source of life, but he is also the source of the light to see and understand life.
You have just listened to the Perceptive Readers Podcast. Remember, until next time, if you read something that encourages you to improve or enhance your life for the better, it becomes your reality. So, Doc Rose or Frappuccino? You decide.